Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's Tuesday here and Gabby is reading the comments. Are you reading the comments instead of doing school? No, don't play. Don't play yeah, yeah. Don't so play. basically they sit down at the computer and I'll show you what happens. So Sophie is getting ready to start up the computer but then there's all these comments here. I say that's a sign because it's a funny picture. Yeah, so Gabby looked at the comments and she saw this oh comment by Emily Rector. And she's a gray bunny as her as her profile pic. She is not too big for Jasmine. She is not too big for Jasmine. That was so funny. I know I don't like I, don't I know. While Sophie met yesterday when she said that was that um she's so used to running Sabrina now that Jasmine felt so small to her, right, Sophie? Uh-huh. Okay, something is there's a miracle. I have a squeak squeaky ball. And watch. So we've been working on oh, yeah. uh, Ruby today instead of doing her homeschool. People are jealous that they don't have the unicorn. <laughs> she thinks you all are jealous that you don't have her yeah. beautiful blue unicorn onesie. That's a mm -hmm. little bit big for her, but she loves it, huh? Yeah. Anyways, uh, a lot of you guys are putting hashtag get Gabby a bunny and I was telling Gabby about it and she was so <laughs> excited because she really wants a bunny and then she came to go into school work and that comment by Emily Rector was sitting there and she's like, ah, it's a sign, I'm gonna get a bunny. But I don't know about a bunny. And I'm gonna get a bunny because we're gonna like kind of like board it at Yeah, that's the a good way to think of it. Yeah, so basically they wanna it. buy a bunny. Can I watch so watch the video today? We always do it on school days. Yeah, so basically they're gonna try and buy a bunny but leave it at the barn. And the girls have been sucking me in lately. They say, hey, before we get started, can we watch your video? Because they didn't watch it yet. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's watch it. So that's what they wanna do right now, huh? Yeah, let's watch it. While the girls do the computer part of their day, I was trying to get a bunch of chores done. So every day I bring the laundry up and I fold it. I dump the basket here. Okay, these are nice and hot, like super hot. I dump them here on the couch so I can I fold I them. I Macy right now. And this is what you see underneath. I wish I were Macy right now. Yeah, Look I know, it. right? Macy's over there. I can put my head in. I can still be them. It's so nice to have a big pile it's of clean, warm. hot laundry on you. Do you guys like it in there? Toby especially loves it. He's like, just cover me up. taking down all of our fall decorations and starting to put up some Christmas stuff. Probably put our tree up this weekend because that's how we roll in this house. We do everything extra early. I like to set this little calendar that I have. I never change it every day. So I like to set it for special occasions. And of course the next special occasion is... What's the next special occasion? Christmas. No, there's a much better special occasion. Birthday. Your birthday. My birthday. Here it is. How old are you, 
turning? I'm still young. How old? How old do you think I am? Like 58 or 57? No, not even close. What is it? Not that old. What is it? But thanks for thinking that I'm that old. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Is it 60? No, it's not 60. <laughs> what is it? What is it? You have to guess. 24. 80. 24, Sophia's a winner! Yeah. She guessed it! Yeah. Yay! Oh, no, she's in her but 50s. I'm not in my 50s. Yes, you are! Ask Dad! <laughs> Dad's one year younger than you! Okay, there is no way that I'm in my 50s. I'm yeah, not. No. She is. No. She is. No. She 25. Is. Yeah, I'll be turning 25. I know. No. Oh, she's turning no. 25. Yep, I'm old. I'm old. I'm turning 25. No. No! Like 56? No, not even close. Okay. 46? No. Oh, Tell me the truth. Maybe. Well, no. Okay, Tell anyway. Tell me the truth. Enough guessing. She's turning 48. She told me. him and I at new phone cases which is when we bought our phones just a couple weeks ago anyway the one that he ordered for me came in and his rolls gold you guys he ordered it without me even knowing and look how pretty it is I love rose gold but it is super cool watch this my phone it my phone case is see-through not only that but can on I the back of it on the edge of it you can use the volume key and the Bixby key I don't know if you guys can see that you can push right through the screen. So you don't even have to open your phone. Oh, see, I pushed my big speed. Yeah, it's the coolest and it's really soft, but it's kind of slippery. Do you like it? It's a better taste. Isn't it so nice? All right, pancakes for Gabby and Sophie and I are having, Sophie and I are having a tomato soup. Um, well, the girls that I eat, you guys could watch Gabby's lesson from yesterday. She did something so crazy. Just saw. It was kind of like dressage. It was like using. Fiona just... wanted to see. Fiona wanted to see um, Sabrina do dressage because before she was a jumper in dressage horse. Yeah, so they did some stuff to connect the back end of the horse to the front end of the horse, and I don't know if that's dressage, but I think it's dressage. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, anyway, whatever it was, she looked so pretty, and Gabby did an awesome job. And any of you guys that do dressage out there, let us know how did how did she look for a dressage horse? Hey, Jasmine. That's not Jasmine. That's hey, Jasmine. Jasmine. That's not Jasmine. Serena. I can tell the difference. Because uh, she has Jasmine's a longer face. Because of her halter. Jasmine's part rave. Yeah. Yeah. Been a good girl. Been a good girl today. She wants, she wants the treat, that blue. Blue got a treat? Oh, I know treats the laughter. Alright. Tacking up. Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina. That's exactly what you wanted to do. You were proud. So, what was she doing? Come up this quarter line and show me again. Every step, you're gonna push that belly a little bit. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Click your, push it and kick. Push, push, harder, she's got to get into the corner. There you go. You know more than you're letting on.
Yeah. <laughs> so, like I was having the best two weeks of my life. I know. having gym it's the end of the day and we're just hanging out and playing in the backyard my body's like yes you've got your walking feet on let's go it wants to walk down to the barn I swear say a pass hole say hole hole good because she dug a hole Ruby she's gonna go under the fence no to put to hide this she was trying to dig a hole and hide the ball, ball? Yeah. Ruby so that they can see Normally dogs dig holes if they're left alone outside. You're never left alone outside. What was that all about, Missy? What was it about? Come on, let's go. Come on, I get one. Guys. It's like, come on, I can run faster than that. <laughs> let's have a race. All right, we're gonna do a, a race, dog versus human. We're gonna see who runs faster, Gabby or Ruby. On your mark, get set, <laughs> go back, on your mark, get set, go, <laughs> Gabby won, but that's because dad got home, so Ruby's excited. She's like, my dad is here. Ruby and Sam are getting so close. She does not leave his side anymore. That's what he always wants in a dog. He wants his dog to stay by him and she does not leave his side. Just like Abby was like that too. Because she took it over there, dropped it in a spot and started digging. Come on. Yeah, your dog dug a hole. <laughs> She's like, come on dad, look. Look dad, look what I did. I, I dug a hole for you. She wants the ball. Good girl. Look, she's taking it right to the hole. Oh, she's gonna get another hole. Hey there. Ooh, don't dig holes, girl. Don't dig any holes. She went to bed. Mommy, she's I so happy you're home. Back. Sophie and I are about to do comment of the day, but before we I want to tell you guys that we are gonna do a QA this week. So send us all of your questions. You can send them to us on Instagram or Snapchat or right here in the comments, right Sophie? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, okay, comment of the day goes to Noreen Hagen and she says, Sophie did so well cantering. I know it was her first time, but here's a tip for the next time and the time after and after that. 
Put all your weight in the stirrups. That helps you sit in the saddle and stops you from bouncing around. Well done, keep up the hard work. And then she says that she's at home sick because she has a bad migraine. I was sick. You were sick, maybe she caught it from you. No. How do you know? She's too far away. Yep, that's exactly right. And Teresa Potvin says, good job Sophie, so excited that you finally cantered. Hannah DeRocher says, yay, first canter is so exciting, and it only gets better from there. You looked great, Sophie. I was doing the staring contest. Oh, you were doing the staring contest? <laughs> How do you know if you win? Because they'll say. What? They will say. They'll say? All right, you guys. We want to know in the comments below. Did you look away first? Because <laughs> Sophie's doing a staring contest. We want to know tomorrow, right, Sophie? Mm -hmm. If you won or if they won. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>